Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing really well. So today is going to be a nail tutorial, how I do my nails, how I take very cheap, inexpensive Amazon nails and make them look really elegant, make them look salon done. It's a very easy uh, process for me. I've learned how to take care of my nails over the past like 10 years now. So this is a requested video. So I'm just going to just show you how I do my nails and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is. So guys, I forgot to film what am I using in this video. So what I had to do was just to go back and recreate uh, this part. So the nails you see me wearing in this portion of the video is my finished manicure. So right now I'm just gonna go straight into showing you what I use to create this beautiful look. And right here I'm showing you, I'm using the Dashing Diva Taylor Bond nail glue. This is like a nail gel. This is really fast and easy. It's not messy. I'm going to be using the Madam Glam Soak Off Base and the Madam Glam No Wipe Top. But I'm going to link something else below, guys, which I use as well. And, uh, it, and it's a lot cheaper as well. I'm also going to be using some alcohol and some lint-free wipes. Now, these wipes are just little paper towels that I cut down to size and they're lint free. I'm going to be using a toothpick just to clean out the side walls of my nail. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use two nail files, one small emery board. I'm going to use this to push back my cuticles. And this pink nail file, I'm going to use this just to uh, buff down my natural nail just a little bit. This is very soft and natural. This will not harm your natural nail. I love using this. I'm going to be using my UV lamp and I'll link this below guys. I love this UV lamp. I bought this last year during the lockdown and I absolutely love this. This has not failed me. I'm going to be using the 60 second button and the 30 second button. Now this, this closed pins that you see me uh, showing you, I'm going to use these closed pins. The closed pins I got from the Dollar Tree, the crafting closed pins. The closed pins I'm going to use on my nails to apply continuous pressure because the nail glue is a gel. It takes a little longer to dry and I truly believe you need to hold it longer than a minute. So once I apply the nails, get it set into place, I'm going to use these closed pins just to apply continuous pressure as I move on to the next nail. And then this little arm pad that I'm using, guys, I'm going to link that below because this is really so cute. And it comes in different colors and different textures. So I want you to check that out when you have a chance. And this is the base. This is so nice, guys. I bought this last year also during the lockdown. I use mine every two weeks because that's when I do my nails, every two weeks. And uh, yeah, guys, so right now I'm just going to go into showing you the nails that I use. The nails that I use are from Amazon and they come in a package of four. The four that you see here, the four strips of nails that you see come together in a package. And I try to buy the cheapest nails that I can buy because I know how to make them feel thicker and firmer, uh, just like salon quality nails. So I'm just gonna show you this color is like a beige. This color here is like a mocha or chocolate color. Uh, the color at the top of the screen you see, that's like a creamy nude. And I'm going to settle into using that pink shade that you see. This is the shade that I'm wearing in the opening of the video. What I like to do is, as you can see guys, these nails, I have to say, are small. So if you have a larger finger, these nails may not work for you. This is one of the cons on the Amazon website is that these nails are really small. They're really small. I have small hands. I also have small nail beds so that con was definitely a plus for me so what I like to do is just to take and hold the nail over my natural nail to see which one fits the best and then I just remove it from the sprig the nails are attached to that long strip that strip is called a sprig and so yeah I'm just going to just put them next to my nails making sure that they fit from side wall to side wall. And I'm just gonna place it off to the side so that I could use it when it's time to apply my nails. So as you can see, these nails are really a perfect size for me. I mean, they may not work for most people because most people have a, start, a little bit larger hand. My hand is really small, my nails are small. So I'm going to use the emery board and I'm going to gently push back my cuticles. I don't have a lot of cuticle there, I just never did. And so whatever's there, I'm just going to push back a little bit so that the nail can just sit securely once I glue it down.
So now using that soft pink nail file, I'm just going to shape my nails. As you can see, my nails are cut short. I keep them cut short. I'm just going to just gently just buff my nail. You can't really buff your nail really hard guys because it's just made for your natural nails. And so all you need is a light buffing. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol and on a piece of paper towel, lint free guys, don't use cotton, use something lint free. And I'm just going to clean off that nail dust. So now it's time to apply the nails. My manicures can last up to two weeks. They definitely last me more than eight to 10 days. So I'm going to apply just a little bit of the nail gel and guys, I'm sorry you can't see that looks a little blurry, but I'm applying a little bit of that nail gel to the fake nail and just a little tiny bit to my natural nail. And I'm just going to set that into place. You do have a few seconds to move the nail around in case you um, put it on wrong. It looks crooked. You have, you have a few seconds to just readjust it. And so I'm just going to put it into place. I'm going to hold it down with my own fingers for a few seconds. So what you want to do is to make sure you clean out any glue that may have oozed out underneath your nail and around your nail bed. Use your toothpick just to clean that out and get that off. So now I'm going to use the clothespin and I'm going to just uh, put that there and hold that into place. That's going to provide continuous pressure while the nail glue or the nail gel sets. The reason why I do my own nails now guys is because every single time I go to a nail salon and it doesn't matter which one I go to, I always seem to get a nail fungus on my fingers. I have been doing my nails at home now for the past, I would say eight to 10 years. I have not gotten a nail fungus since I've been doing my own nails. So I've done my thumb guys. The clothespin does not fit on my thumbnail so I had to use a chip clip that I had in the kitchen. So the next step is to take your soft nail buffer which is the pink one and buff the shine off of the nail. If you choose nails that have a shine you can do that. These nails are matte but I'm still going to buff them a little bit because I want the base coat and the top coat to adhere really nicely. Um, this is also a great time to file your nails and reshape them and remove any of the sharp pieces that still might be stuck at the tip. You want to just buff that down and you can definitely use this soft nail buffer to do that. And so I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to remove anything that's sharp at the top and making sure that the nail feels smooth underneath. After this guys, you want to take your alcohol and your lint free wipe and you want to clean off any dust that you've buffed up on the nail. So the next step now is to take the base coat and I'm just going to apply a very thin application to each nail, making sure it's nice and smooth. Use as little as possible because you don't want this to pull around the side walls of your nail and you certainly don't want it to collect underneath your nail. You want your nails to look as neat and as salon looking as possible. So what I'm doing now is just using my toothpick. So I'm just trying to make sure there, there is no gel pooling around the side walls. And don't forget to check under your nails just to make sure there isn't a collection of that gel I'm building up under the tips. After that, I'm going to put my hand in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to press the 30 second button for an additional 30 seconds. This is going to be a total of 90 seconds under the UV lamp. And I'm just going to take a very thin application of the no wipe top coat. I'm going to apply it over top of the base. You don't have to wipe off the base coat guys. Don't wipe it off. It still should be nice and sticky. Just apply your no wipe top coat on top of that.
Don't forget to clean out the side walls. You want to remove any gel that might be pulling into the side walls. Do a 60 second timer and then I'm going to press the timer for 30 seconds for a total of 90. And guys, that's it. So I'm going to fast forward to my other hand, which I have done already off camera. And guys, look how beautiful my nails look. And I'm going to tell you, once you get into the rhythm of doing this method, it's going to take you less than 30 minutes, depending on how fast you work, 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do your whole complete manicure. So you can use any type of hand cream. I'm showing you that I'm using this Lancome body cream. I'm just, I like to use this on my hands and then I like to take what's ever left and just rub it into my cuticle area. I don't use cuticle oils as much anymore. And um, I just like using this and I like using it on my hands. After that, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol on a piece of paper towel and just clean off any residue from the body cream that's on the nails and then the nails are done. That's it guys. I usually do my nails within 45 uh, minutes and um, I absolutely uh, just love the results. I've been experimenting with different shaped nails, different length of nails and I'm absolutely loving every manicure that I've done. So guys, you let me know what you think about this method. Uh, let me know if you're thinking about trying it, but please guys, I want you to check the description box below if you're interested in anything that I've used here today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it guys. Stay well, stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye. <music>